want to come back from Iraq or is <laughs> Am I going to be loud enough, or do we need a mic check? I can hear you. Everybody can hear. Everybody can hear. If you wait for the plane, the helicopter to go by. Okay. Miss mm -hmm. April Charney, an attorney with Jacksonville Area Legal Aid, intends to speak to our group about home foreclosures. She is currently assisting other attorneys regarding how to challenge the system so that people can keep their homes. Please. That's stuff for the GA, so I don't want to say this. That's good enough. That's a pretty good intro. The goal of this presentation is of tremendous value, and we should do what we can to accommodate. Thank you. Hey, bro. <laughs> Uh, thank you, and thank you for letting me interrupt what you otherwise had going. I apologize for that. I offer my services to Occupy Jacksonville and to the Occupy uh, process in general for the purposes of uh, initially of providing education about foreclosures and the problems with foreclosures. Uh, the point of me trying to engage with Occupy at this point is to try to give you enough information and education about the, for, the legal world of foreclosures so that you can figure out how to occupy within the legal structures that will best gain the direction that you choose to go with foreclosed properties. So for starters, uh, there would need to be some information from you to me giving me an opportunity to provide education. My experience from teaching lawyers around the country is that it requires at least two to three hours of real intense education on the whole stomach to be able to begin to understand why we are in the foreclosure mess that we are in. In a very brief nutshell, I'll explain it this way. We wanted to increase home ownership in this country, which is a great and laudable goal. There was an extreme disconnect when that became a goal of this country between the income capability of prospective homeowners and the lending requirements of the uh, organizations that were going to provide the money. And that disconnect was ignored and tossed aside and not dealt with, except in creating uh, illegal securitization processes that were legally defective to prove ownership of loans. That's pretty much a nutshell. It is through that legal failure that we create processes to stop foreclosures, because foreclosure is a remedy for organizations that own loans and have legal rights. So just like you, I occupy the judicial system to force our legal remedies to work the way they're supposed to. And I really think at its heart, that's what Occupy wants to do, is to make things work the way they're supposed to. I like that. Unfortunately, the processes are uh, involved in forcing access to the remedy of foreclosure, which is what it is. It's an illegal access to a judicial remedy. Is on the backs of trafficking income limited people into loans to fuel this financial industry. But the loans never met the requirements of the financial industry. Now, where we defend homeowners requires lawyer effort. You're not going to uh, avoid that. And so one of the goals is to get you to help me get lawyers engaged in this process, which is an exceptional feat for any lawyer to do and requires amazing energy, resource, dedication, and education. But if you offer lawyers in your community a reason and incentive to do it, 
I suspect that they will join forces with you outside of their individual representation of homeowners. But be advised that for any lawyer to get up to speed on this education, to be able to do this very sophisticated lawyer work, is a huge effort for any individual lawyer. I've been a lawyer for 31 years. It's the hardest law I've ever practiced. For non-lawyers to understand that, the process, and to be able to figure out how to engage that process is probably twice as hard. But that's the next level. If you're willing to bring lawyers with you to the table, and there are 3,000 of them in the Jacksonville Bar or in the local Jacksonville, Northeast Florida area, then I'm willing to teach all comers so that you can figure out based on your own experience and needs and group efforts to decide what to do and how to do it. I'm not here to tell you that tonight that you're going to be able to occupy this home or prevent, prevent that foreclosure or get the goals that you want to reach reached. But I do know that without the information and the education to understand the system that you're up against, you won't get very far. So my goal is to give you education and information and to get you to bring lawyers to the table to be part of this effort. Because if you don't bring lawyers and help me bring lawyers to the table, and if you don't get yourselves educated, then that process won't work. So I think you call them teachings? Or yes. yes. And I'm fine with that. I divide my time. I'm a grandmother and I'm um, uh, an old lady, and so I have a life in Venice with a husband and a life here in Jacksonville with my work and my daughter and my grandkid. So you're going to have to work with me on my schedule, and hopefully we can do this on a statewide or a national level, get some webinars going or some technological work going here to do these teachings. In the meantime, you have my cards. I've distributed them. Uh, best to communicate with me by email. This could be a Jacksonville Legal Aid project. Tonight I'm here on my own. Because of the outreach to give counseling related to foreclosures. And so initially we could use Jacksonville Legal Aid, I'm presuming, to do the education work and to have access to a facility with the means to be able to provide that kind of education. That's really all I came to say tonight and, if there, and to answer any immediate questions. But again, if you have individual case-related questions, save it for the email because the first question back to you is, show me your documents and I need a lot more information to help you. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a hard week, let me tell you. Oh, she's got it right here. Yeah, I've given out my cards. If there's not enough of them, uh, I'm easy to find. Just Google my name, April Charney. But um, hopefully you'll pass the word around. But it's april.charney at jaxlegalaid.org. Fairly easy to find just across um, on uh, Adams Street, one block over. Any other questions? Do you have any, a couple more? No, that's, that's all. Let's do a all forum right. post tonight. Whoever's got one of the business cards, go and do a forum post on comeoccupyjacks.org and get that information put on there. That way, it'll be, that's permanent. And the only other thing I want to mention is don't limit yourself to homeowners. My Go out, sorry, go out and, fight and, and deal with the tenants in possession. That's my problem. Right, exactly, which is why I want to mention it, because they have major rights and abilities to defend and protect themselves against eviction and to stop a foreclosure, which I also do on behalf of tenants. What did tenants and what? Tenants in possession. Is they're like living in the property that's being foreclosed, which is where I'm at right now. But they're not the people that own the property. No, a tenant is not an owner, although owners are really... Homeowners is right now pretty much a euphemism for being a tenant.
<laughs> you just have, it's called being a luxury tenant. You yeah. have to pay taxes and insurance and put a new roof on every once in a while. Um, thank you for your time. Just so you know, I litigate a lot of cases locally. Um, I represent them in court all the time. I also teach lawyers around the country. I'm working with many attorney generals right now, actively engaged in trying to stop foreclosures. Did you see the article in Rolling Stone that they had the, lawyer, the judge that's trying I to? I was that lawyer. Oh! Uh, yay! <laughs> hey. My kids hey. are really hey. impressed. Let me tell you. So, Does uh, anybody have any questions for April right now? But that was not a happy day for me to see, What's going to on see right that here? stain on Jacksonville. That was not Please a happy leave. Day. I don't know. I don't know. I'm down. You know what I'm saying? The other thing. Tell me. And that lies or whatever. Okay. What? You said what's going on now? Yeah. With what? In New Jacksonville here. Yeah. Well, she's just here to with talk the about judges and foreclosures. Yeah, it's just um, there. Uh, you know, I've been at this battle here in Jacksonville since 2004. I see no light at the end of the tunnel. Thanks for trying, though. Yeah, thank you for. No, we have to effort. create that light. I'm yeah. not saying there's no hope. I'm just saying that I'll see. We gotta it. make it happen. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Very, very, very I hope much. my timing is good. I've been trying to wait. So there's been some energy around foreclosures, and I think that now is the Thank you so much for speaking with us. Um, we have another lawyer over here. His name is.